Hi guys, welcome back to our channel Smart Zoology. Okay, please make sure bell button and subscribe it. Turn on bell button, you get notifications. Okay, if you like our videos, share it. Okay, let's we start with the new concept that is. General topics in Porifera or general topics in sponges. Okay, here we will discuss about the some content. See here. Okay, contents canal system. In canal system, there are four types like ascon type, cycon ragon and leucon these four types we see in the canal system but i will explain only two types like ascon type and cycon type next functions of canal system okay and economic importance of the porifera or sponges last i will conclude with summary okay i will come conclude with summary next canal system Ascon type and cycon type. See here, canal system. This is the ascon type canal system. Okay, ascon type. It is one of the simplest type of the canal system. Okay, we see in the Leucosaninia and Holianthus in these sponges. We see in the ascon type canal system. Okay, and these animals are cylindrical. See here, these are cylindrical, and body wall is form of three layers. Okay, here body wall form of the three layers. Outer layer we call as the ectoderm, and middle layer we call as the mesenchyma. Here, mesenchyma, and innermost layer that we call as the coenocytes. Coenocytes have flagellated cells. Okay, these are the flagellated cells. Next. contains many pores or called ostia we already know about that the wall the outermost wall contain these wall contain minute pores that we call as the ostia okay these pores are intracellular why because these pores to perform by the performations of the single cell it will be play a single role like single cell okay all the ostia open into a central cavity is called spongocele the ostia open into the central cavity that process that part we call as the spongocele it is wider okay and it lined by the coenocytes like flagellated cells the spongocele opens to the outside at the free end by the large circular opening that we call as the osculum. The outermost large circular opening we see in the spongocele that we call as the osculum. Okay? And the flagellated seal, cells that the flagellated uh, cells to beating or like movement see that creates the water current. These cells to create the water current and here some water flowing uh, root or pathway is this see here ostia the uh, water to enter to the enter from the ostia and spongocele uh, it will be passed through the finally it reaches to the osculum in this portion the water will be come outside next Second type, cycon type. Here we will divide into two types. Okay, like without cortex and with cortex. See here, these are the force. Okay, our finger-like structures in outermost uh, layer or outermost portion. Here in with cortex, some extra parts. We see these are the cortex. Okay, next we will study one by one. Cycon type. See here, this is the cycon type. 
with without cortex these are the without cortex it is found in cysetta okay it is one of the example of sponges it derived from the ascon type it is derived from the ascon type it is very well developed of by many finger like structures like finger like structures these are okay and uh, commonly we call as the foldings okay in outgrowth we see the foldings in that foldings we call as the canals these all foldings we call as the canals okay uh, these canals are lined with the coenocytes here also we see coenocytes cells next but spongocil is lined with ectoderm the spongocil lined with ectoderm okay between radial canal here between radial canal and uh, in another canals we see that we call as the outermost uh, imagination we see that we call as the incurrent canals okay next the incurrent canals open into the radial canals by minute pores called as the prosophiles here incurrent canals opens when it will be open uh, into the radial canal here also we see some minute pores that we call as the prosophile okay prosophiles next radial canals open into spondocil by opening that we call as the apopiles here radial canals when it will be opened into the uh, spondocil that opening we call as the apopiles next spondocil opens out by the osculum the spondocil opening we call as the osculum and the water flowing currents here root path is they see one by one the water entering to the incurrent canal first water will be entered to the incurrent canal afterwards it will be move or pass through the prosophile and prosophiles uh, in that portion in that water again to pass through the radial canals afterwards it reaches to the apopiles and sponges finally it will be Uh, reaches to the osculum in that osculum the water will be come outside okay water will be come outside next sicon type of cortex here yeah. the sicon type with cortex here yeah. cortex are there okay this is found in sicon example of the sponges that is sicon uh, in additional uh, like some previous type of the some additional features are there here following now the epidermis and the mesenchyma spread over the outer surface so has to form cortex here outer side epidermis and mesenchyma to spread some uh, particles that we call has the outermost particles that we call has the cortex okay and a uh, free end of the incurrent canals open open to the outside by minute pores called dermal ostia see him the incurrent canals the incurrent canals these are the incurrent canals opens when it will be open outside by the minute pores here outside minute pores are there that we call as the dermal ostia these Uh, suppose we call as the dermal ostia next the incurrent canal opens into the radial canal by openings called prosophile prosophile here incurrent canals opens into the radial canals incurrent canals opens into the radial canals okay in that openings we call as the prosophile next The radial canal opens into the spongocil by openings called apopiles. We already know about that. What is apopile? The sponge, uh, the radial canals open into the spongocil. That opening we call as the apopiles. Okay. Next, uh, the spongocil opens out by the uh, osculum. Okay. When spongos spongocil open into the osculum. In this way, in this time, we see the water current flowing. Okay, here 
root part uh, root path is there see the water current enter to the dermal ostium okay and it will be go to the in current canals and it pass through the prosophile okay and uh, prosophile pass through the radial canals and next it will be move to the apopile and like uh, it will be like uh, water current again to move enter to the spondylocele and finally it will be come out of the come out through ascula this type of the um, water current flowing path we see next functions of canal system what are the function see here one by one canal system helps in sponges like nutrition respiration excretion and reproduction how it will be useful in our helps in nutrition see here the water current which flows through the canal and uh, canal system it brings to the food particles it is brings to the food particle it is helpful for the nutrition next respiration in canal system brings some oxygen and uh, oxygen and uh, takes away the carbon dioxide it bring to the oxygen and take away from the carbon dioxide these gases exchanges we see in the respiration next excretion excretion nothing but waste materials um, like um, nitrogenous waste in form of the liquid form or um, solid form we commonly call as the solid form feces okay next reproduction uh, water current carries the some sperms from the one sponge to the another sponge uh, when these uh, sperms help uh, meet to the ovum or eggs it is helpful for the uh, reproduction purpose okay next it increases the uh, surface area of the sponges when the sponges can contact with the water that time the sponges surface area will be increases and but uh, when it will be increase their volume has surface volume ratio must be remain fixed here ratio not change volume ratio not change okay next economic importance of porifera or sponges see one by one here the economic importance first one filter and clean water these sponges are helpful for the filter and clean water it maintain clean water how it will be clean means uh, water is being suck, sucked uh, through the sponges sucked through the sponges bacteria will be there in the uh, in that um, yeah, water and it will be clean clean the water has it passes through when the bacteria will be clean afterwards it will be released to the water next control some animal populations by eating excess larvae it is uh, to maintain population in aquatic medium okay next bath sponges sold for cleaning exfoliating and personal hygiene etc we already know about that bath sponges how is their bath sponges like sponge soft okay these are helpful for the to clean our body surface and to maintain personal hygiene personal cleanliness okay next part of food chain it is very play a important role in food chain okay it is balanced to the our environment next provide habitat or uh, habitat uh, for many types of animals like these sponges to give shelter for or uh, to provide shelter for some animals small animals like fishes uh, like worms as well as some small uh, animals okay and also 
sponges are a commercial venture these are helpful for the commercial purpose like financial uh, like commercial uh, industrial aspect we use the sponges next several medical compounds including biotic antibiotics antiviral drugs and drugs for leukemia comes from the sponges see here as sponges also we use in medical field okay next uh, it is very useful for the antibiotics by preparing antibiotics and antiviral drugs and for example leukemia is a di uh, disease in this disease uh, we get the uh, drugs from the sponges okay next skeleton of some sponges are used as a decorative pieces here uh, skeletons we use as decorative purpose in house decoration like some uh, items will be uh, make or prepare and some ornaments this like of the uh, skeleton we use okay now next summarization what are the summarization here see in this session summary there are four types of the canal system okay we already know about that ascon type sicon type rigon type and leucon type these four types of the canal systems we seen in the sponges next ascon type canal system uh, water flowing pathway here is the first water will be enter into the ostea okay and uh, ostea it will be go to spongocin and then come out uh, come outside through osculum okay ostea uh, spongocin finally osculum the water flowing we see in the sicon there are two types we already know that uh, without cortex and with cortex okay here without cortex water flowing see here the water enter into the in current canals Pra, uh, passes through the prosophile prosophile in that uh, have some spores that spores to releases to uh, radial canals uh, some water again to flow through the upper pile upper pile afterwards spongocin finally it will be reaches to the osculum in after osculum the water will be releases outside next with cortex dermal ostium the water enter to the dermal ostium it pass through the incurrent canals and it flow it passes through the prosophile afterwards radial canals and pro upper files the upper files afterwards spongocin finally it will be reaches to the osculum by help of the some pathways and uh, lastly it will be releases to the outside next functions of canal system see here functions in nutrition respiration excretion and reproduction in these events or process we see in the canal systems functions and uh, it will be increases to the surface area of the sponges uh, when it will be contact with water okay and economic importance of the porifera or sponges see we use as a food okay and use for purpose of bathing or scrubbing for floor uh, polishing this type of the uses uh, we take from sponges only and sponges protective houses of several animals these are the protect some animals small animals uh, like fishes or any worms okay uh, it will be very uh, important to protect predators otherwise it is uh, escaping process by using sponges next reference these are two books i refer here jordan and verma and arumugam and his colleagues okay any doubt here comment in comment box i will reply thank you